Hello and welcome to Infinity. The in-painting brush, which is, if I right-click down here, in this lot. And it's down here, so if you used it last, of course, it'll be on top. But that's the one we're going to look at. It's uh, a very good um, eraser. Sort of con it's like the context-aware stuff in Photoshop, if you've used that. But all you do is you go to something you want to paint, get rid of, and just paint over it. I'm using a slightly soft brush to allow for sort of a faded and you know, sort of feathered edges of things. But if I do that, ping, look, it's disappeared. It's helpful if it's got their information. You've got to give it a chance if there's information around it, it to do things. And often it's better to do things in bits. If I just paint across to try and get rid of that a lot at once, that's what I get. It's a kind of just smudge. Control Z to undo that. But if I do just paint one person there, there's enough information around here for it to figure out what to put back. So I can do things a bit at a time. And that's normally the way with this. If you give it space, it will do that. Be careful near the edges because it can get confused about what's over and what's back. And then you can paint out things and gradually everything disappears skies it's really easy to get rid of things like this but because there's lots of information around for it to to work with let's try another image what about something more complicated like painting away this person out in here so if i just paint down here whoops i've got a selection brush on here control z to do that for a moment i'll go to the uh there we go the in painting brush there we go so paint on this yeah, if I just keep sort of keep trying to keep it as close in as possible with a little bit of space, that'll do, and see what it does to that. That's quite a tricky one. Look, it's done a surprisingly good job, isn't it? And if it's going well, I'd like to have a little bit of continuation in there. Let's paint on that, and you can keep giving it a bit more things, and it'll have another go. See here, it had another go. What you get as well, you can get replication where something is repeated. And for that, you just have to go to the clone brush and do a little bit of work here. And let's say, um, alt click in that bit there and just paint over here so you haven't got that replication. You can also, with this, do things like if I go back to that selection brush and shrink this down a bit. And what if I try to... I'm going to select this tire here just for a little bit of fun and bring that round to there. So I've just got a selected area. You can go to Edit In Paint here and that will effectively be the same as using the, the In Paint brush over this and see what this does. There you go, it's got rid of that. Control D to get rid of the the wheel there. You could even go back to the in painting brush and just try and paint this again. Do things in bits so it gives it a chance to try not trying to figure everything out at once. Yeah, it's not bad like that. I'll do one click for that. Can I get that now? Let's try around here. Here we go. Notice again, see when there, where there's replication, things gone. See, there's there's some dark bits there. Again, it's something you just go to the clone brush, alt click somewhere else, and give it a bit of add a bit of variation into it. If you if you clone too closely, you're going to get replication here. So you have to clone a bit further out to let it to copy things in like that. So anyway, there we go. There's a couple of interesting examples of using the in painting brush, which is really useful. I even use it just one click at a time for getting rid of dust bunnies. There we go. Thank you very much for watching.